Make blocks out of thin air! Or liquid, thin liquid. Make blocks out of liquid! Hello and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, OMG Chad. This is a show that'll teach you how to become a Minecraft expert in no time. Today, we are going to be looking at how to make blocks out of nothing. There's a few ways to do this in Minecraft, like growing a tree. Uh, you will get blocks that will appear because uh, the tree grows, um, or maybe snow falling on the ground, and so you can harvest the snow and make that into a block. But this way, all you have to do is build one simple setup, and you could basically have infinity blocks forever. So here we are in a little world, and maybe you've heard of it, maybe you haven't, but it is a cobblestone generator. This is how you can generate basically endless amounts of cobblestone. You can see as many times as I break this piece of cobblestone right here, it keeps coming back. And you can imagine that if you actually, if you actually had a pick, Let's quickly just get a pick and switch into game mode zero here that you could harvest this up and there you go. Now you have basically unlimited cobblestone for your enjoyment. Now we're losing a few pieces because this isn't a very efficient, <laughs> look at that one piece just flying out of there. Um, this isn't an incredibly efficient cobblestone generator, uh, but that's not really what we're trying to show off. We're just showing you the basics. So, here is how this works. Whenever lava, and if you put down lava, you'll know that it flows around, it will sort of uh, spread out from its uh, location. Whenever you put that on the ground and uh, one of its, uh, its uh, off flows, one of the flows off of the source block of lava touches water, it will become cobblestone. So if we do this out here in the open, you can see what I'm talking about. This is going to flow out. If I put water right here, it will flow into those and create cobblestone. Sometimes um, neither of the flows are strong enough, so uh, there isn't quite enough for the game to decide that either of those should be uh, one or the other. Basically, they're stopping at, they're meeting each other uh, there. So that's why it looks uh, like those were touching, but it wasn't creating cobblestone. So you can easily make this happen um, on purpose. Now what you're probably gonna wanna do, I'm just gonna build it in the, in the grass back here. Uh, what you'll probably do is something like this, where you will uh, take your lava, you'll put it right here, and then you'll take your water and put it over here, and then you're like, perfect, and then bam, you get obsidian. What's happening in this scenario is that water will travel much faster, much, much, much faster, than lava, as you can see. Well, you probably remember when I put down the lava before. So what you have to do is make sure that the water will uh, stop and flow down and, and uh, not reach the lava. So you can do this by basically creating a hole for the, for the water to go down into. Now, if you put your lava right here, well, it's also gonna turn into obsidian again because this is the source block. Remember, you need the flow. So if you create one more space, then the flow of the lava will uh, be touching this water and that will create the cobblestone. So from two liquids, you get one piece of stone. Pretty neat. There's also another thing that you can do, which is really, really cool. And that is if uh, lava is flowing down and it lands on the top of water, we can sort of see this. It's gonna get a little messy uh, while I do this, um, but you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. The lava flows down just like this. It's gonna touch that water. There we go. We should be able to pull that up. And once this goes away, you'll be able to tell that that became smooth stone. So did this as well. Uh, basically, instead of the lava being turned into a block, which is like this, like it was before, the water is turning into a block. So whenever the water uh, is sort of being forced uh, into a block, it will create smooth stone instead of cobblestone. So we can use this uh, over here. This method looks a little bit different and that will force the lava to flow down uh, and the water will fill in that area first because it is faster than the lava. 
and you will get uh, this smooth stone every single time. So you could, if you had a salt touch pick, get smooth stone as well. Oh my gosh, we're gonna create all sorts of problems here. Uh, oh gosh, there we go. <laughs> I'm on a laptop, so my, kicky, my clicking was not fast enough. Um, that will go away eventually. So here are two very, very simple generators. So you can generate blocks in Minecraft from liquid. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This will come in super handy if you're playing one of the games that does not give you a lot of blocks, like let's say Skyblock or Skygrid, where uh, you, you sort of have a limited amount of blocks and you need to create more, you need something else to work with. This is a fantastic way to create more blocks inside of Minecraft. And now that you know all the mechanics, you can do it yourself. If you want to subscribe to catch future episodes, you can do so at youtube.com slash omgcraft. That way, every episode is hand-delivered to you. Comment, like down below. Let me know what you thought about this video, and I will see you next time on OMG Craft. Bye.